the video page or this awesome tab that pops up at the end of your video is the hub for sharing your video far and wide. Under the share icon, you have tons of different options like publishing your video to YouTube, sharing it to Google Classroom as an assignment, a question, or anything else under the sun. Getting an embed code to be able to put that into your website or you can select more options to see other things that we have available. Those include sending your videos in an email and generating a QR code to paste all over the place for your students to simply scan and watch. We've also introduced more sharing options under our App Smash library. Simply select add more sharing options and a new screen will pop up that will allow you to turn on the integrations that make sense to you. If you'd like to enhance your video with questions and track student comprehension, you can turn on Edpuzzle. If you fancy creating a collection of different videos interspersed with other ideas from the web, you can turn on Wakelet. And if you think that you might want to message your videos out to students, parents, or colleagues over text message or email, you can turn on Remind. Once you have turned on the integrations that make the most sense for you and the students that you serve, you can head back to the My Recordings page or simply press the back button. You'll notice that all of the integrations that you've enabled will now be at the top of your share options. Now, anytime you visit this page, you'll be able to share to Edpuzzle, share to Wakelet, or share on Remind with simply a click. That's it. You have shared your video with all of the folks who matter. And of course, you don't have to select the same sharing option every time. These sharing options are available to you at any time to customize how you share based off of who you are sharing with.